It's Vasas, season three, episode three, and a madness is happening, guys. Um, oh, where to even start? Some spot on performances. Obviously, last time that we were uh, together for an episode, they were absolute limbs here, which was awesome. Uh, we haven't felt a defeat since the 11th of December. It was weird fixtures, honestly. Only one fixture in November and one fixture in December. Strange. Uh, but after the winter break, I have not lost. Look at this. We're into the uh, Hungarian Cup semi-finals but more most importantly we're second in the table we genuinely could be doing this we could be potentially doing this it's quite mad um we beat Ferenc Varos recently they're like a little bit rocky we're going from strength to strength we've got Hunved at home um in this episode I would have played Molfer Var because that would have been you know a, a really tough game but we have played Molfer Var um a lot recently and i don't really want to be like pushing the exact same team at you all the time so um this was a brilliant victory uh, a 3-1 win uh, a lot of late goals there but uh, turned out rather comfortable uh, a 4-1 victory against pushkas academy uh, i didn't actually see the first three goals because i i'd gone to the toilet for the for half time I uh, got a little bit nervous because I know how good, like, the um, some of the players in the Pushkas Academy are. So I'm just going to I'm gonna watch these with you. So we've got Demu and then Demu. Who's Demu? Demu's got a new contract, by the way. I just signed him up to a new two-year contract at 2.5k per week. So he's getting paid a lot of money to stay around and to stay happy. Um, Demu nearly scored there. But Bros, who's been fantastic for us... Um, you know what? I nearly forgot that the the other kid that we had last season, Rado, um, had left. He's he, he's wiped away all memories of uh, Rado. We've uh, we've just done some great business, and there could be such a gold mine at the end of uh, this particular rainbow of a season. All right, I right, happy with that. A four-one victory. Uh, this quarter final as well, we had a man sent off just before half time, and we still managed to beat them. I don't have a clue how, but this um, this team's got some real grit to uh, to its name, and also this is without the South Africans and the Serbians that are, are coming in next season. If we go on to win this league title. God knows what happens next season. Right, so. Transfers. Let's have a look at the transfer history during the winter. We didn't have anyone in. We didn't have anyone out, it looks. No, no, we did have a couple out. Okay. Uh, Bonimus Nagy went to uh, DVTK, 80 thousand pounds just remembered as well um someone told me that a comment on the first episode uh says that it's pronounced vashash so i'm gonna try or vashash or it's soft s's so i'm gonna try my best to pronounce it like that from now on okay so bonus nagy went for 80k rob d who was one of the uh regens uh just dropped in potential around the same time that uh, you pest, you oh, you pest, oh, you pest, was offering one hundred and fifteen thousand pounds, and then just to make sure that this guy was happy, we sent him out on loan to Bud uh, Budaros Budaros Budaros. Um, so that's it. Not that much in terms of activity through the winter i was uh, very happy with how we uh, stood uh, we were about fifth then um there was significant progress on and off the field and and now we've just gone from strength to strength these players are, are growing really rapidly uh Cyrilla is a remarkable little player um but really 
Dinu is is the main regen at this moment in time. Kazar is slightly grown as well. Three and a half stars. Yeah, man. It could very much be hap happening. Lucas Nemec is a three and a half star left back. Nice. We will have to see. We will have to see. It would be interesting. Let's put it that way. Um, feels like I've just taken the Hungarian League, slammed its head into a car door. You know what I mean? Just closed the car door in its head and just obliterated it. It is Vashash against Honved. Ba, 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 ba. There is going to be butchering of names. That's just how it goes. But I will try my best, especially with the club that I'm at. So we're going to uh, encourage from the start. They need... I mean, all the help that I can I can give them, all the changes, all the little tweaks, anything that I could possibly think of that makes our team a little bit better than the opponents, I will try and do. I will try everything to get victories, three points on the board. That on, Yeah, okay, the lad, once we finish with this attack, the Hungarian lad in centre mid... Oh, good save. Um, going from strength to strength. Just check him out. Ferenc Varos have already scored early on. Okay, we've got to keep up. We're going to keep up that pressure. They had a game in hand. Um, so we were on the same points. We had, they had a game in hand and drew that one. So they are feeling the pressure. It's not like they're immune. Big tackle. And again. Leave it out. Good save. Oh, it's going in for Honved. Martin Adam. Oh, statistically, yeah, it's, it's pretty poor. Where are we going? Adam. Doesn't even, he can't even run. It's a poor one to give away. Now, this is the Hungarian centre mid that I was talking about. He is really, really good for this league now. Come on, let's encourage. Like, overall, we've been all right. I think we need to get a, a goal immediately. I mean, if this turns into a, a loss, even though we've had, like... It goes for the shot there. Even if this turns into a loss, we'll have had uh, significant games this season. We'll have shown significant games, even though we, we've only recorded three. I picked them well. Guadinu! Oh, he comes off the post, and he doesn't react to the rebound for some reason. Getting a little bit unlucky. Ferenc Varish are flying. Well, we've seen an opening day victory late on. We saw the madness against the Pushkas Academy. And I think we've now just seen the capitulation of our league chances. Yikes. What the fuck was that? We can't be very... Look, we can't be very careful. We've got to keep on going for it. What a save. Uypest, or whatever the name is, not even giving a fucking good account of themselves against Ferenc Varos. We need a big time performance here. Oh, Gazdag. Daniel Gazdag. Hmm. It's going to be a tough one to take. Very tough. Ah. 
why is he going like in like that when we got such a good chance? Like even at one nil, I'd back us to come back into this. And look at the stats. Even at like ten men, we're giving a good account of ourselves. Isn't a little injury on Bros? Are you joking? Please don't tell me Kazar's just come on and got injured. It doesn't look like it. Looked offside. Looked offside and was offside. We're going to have to do a madness. Let's get the draw. And then it, it's still one game, isn't it? There'll be three points ahead. It's still one game. I don't know what the goal difference is like at the moment. I think it's too early to be worrying about the goal difference. Uh, but as this stands, it'll be four points. Mentally, that's a bit different. Man, even with the sending off, we've been sick. Good ball. Can't get it. We we just not been able to force this in. For love and the money. Throw some more encouragement out there. They have they've they've tried. They've tried their very best. They've been let down by a loney. Hart's not completely in it in comparison to the other players, but don't worry. Next. Sorry, is Bros still around? Hang on. No, Bros should have been. What? Uh. I beg your pardon? Match stats. We've been dominant with 10 men. We've lost 2 0. That is very demotivating. And there is a six point gap at the top. Six, four, I can't count. Right, this guy, I, I, I can't even find him. Of course I can't find him because he's loaned in. Mm. Apparently there's a long way to go if you uh, agree with our... Fi a fitness coach is doing the um, talking in the media. Fair enough, lad. If I'm giving you that job, I'll change it. I'll change it. Let me change it. Get, in a, get that assistant manager all over it. Yeah? I'm trying to think of, like, what else has happened through uh, the, last, the last few months. It's been a very big gap between uh, episodes. But... Honestly, I think we, we've we just gone through it. A long time, but transfers weren't there. Not that much has changed. I love that the, the club just sometimes just agree terms with stuff that I've not even like looked at. Most of the times, I just cancelled the deal. Okay, Bilek is looking wicked. Like that. He could be uh, very good in the future. We were looking. And I thought we were going to get him. A shortlisted player. Ooh. Santiago Davi. It's a shortlisted player. I believe this is the 2022 intake. So we should need, we need to go to the 2021 intake. And it was a defender of salt. And I can't see him. But we were looking at a defender. We nearly... Purchased this defender for 600. Could have been. Yes, it's this guy. Hello? Compensation's now at 49k? Um, yes, please. Because I was just about to try and sign him for 700 or 600. Uh, thousand pounds. Let's let's say it three million. I'd be happy with any player being sold for seven, uh, three million. 
Oh, wow. Okay. That would be huge if he came. Another useful addition. I really need to trial a lot of these players. But these guys... Why on earth did they let that guy run down his contract? In fact, I'm going to make sure that this, this lad's has. I cannot afford to see him sign a new deal with Slavia Prague. He's got compensation on him, but it's a little bit more expensive. We look at the contract expiring six months. It is literally just him. Okay, well, I mean, that would be insane if we could grab him. Ooh. I feel like I'd won the lo lottery if I'd uh, signed that guy who I was uh, willing to put a lot of money towards, but actually... Um, only gonna be uh, selling him, assigning him for dirt cheap 50k. Let's just advance this and see if we get a confirmation, please. Come on, come on. Soretto, Soretto was the one that we were about to sell. Uh, we accepted a bid from Honved uh, for about 500k. Oh my goodness. Ho ho ho. Well, our defense has got a little bit better, hasn't it? That is... That is insane. What a Slavia Prague playing at. All right. Um, anything else to talk about? Staff have come on a little bit. We're now um, a little bit higher than average on defending. What about that? Um, definitely after like this preseason or something... Around season four, we need to try and push for a B team. Um, start adding coaches to uh, not only the first team but the under 19s. Really uh, get the development. If we got enough money as well, maybe we've got to look at the training facilities. Um, try and raise them up quick. Youth facilities as well. Um, yeah, wow. Could this be a title winning season? We've shot ourselves in the foot during the game in this episode, but you never know. Um, Ferenc Varos have been quite rocky if you look at the schedule. Oh yeah, through the last month, it has been it has been an interesting up and down uh, form. Got us in the cup. Would really enjoy uh, being in a cup final again. Maybe Vassas away. Ferenc Varos against Vassas might be the episode four of this season. Maybe we go episode five as well. There might be a cup final. Who knows? Anyway, I think I've I've covered everything. There wasn't any spectacular goals. Nope. We're all good. Wish me all the best. Come on, Vashash. See you in a bit.